Hello, my wonderful children. How are you doing? Hope you are keeping safe. Great. I'm happy to hear that. And hope you are watching the videos. You are writing your notes. The notes are on the net, on the school website. Make sure you make the maximum use of the opportunity. Is that taking? Love you. Now, the subject we have today is basic science. And the topic is season and climate. The topic is season and climate. Let's look at the learning objectives, what we are to achieve at the end of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, each of the purpose should be able to define weather, define climates, mention five factors affecting the weather of a place, and mention the instruments used in measuring each of the factors. We have to talk about weather, from weather to climate, and from climate to season. Is that taking? So, but before we continue in the class of today, let's do a recap. Let's reverse what we learned in our last class. In our last class, we talked about feeding in animals. We said feeding is a process of an organism, typically animals, to consume food. To consume food. The process by which organisms or animals feed on food. Feed on food is feeding. I said we make use of some suffixes. Suffixes are words that you put at the end of a word to change its meaning. I will say there are some suffixes that we use like bur, buri, and so on and so forth, which means vore, meaning to the vo, to the vo, to consume. I will say we have three types of feeding in animals for your level. We have herbivorous, carnivorous, and omnivorous. Herbivorous are animals that feed on plants. They are animals that feed on plants. Examples, sheep, goats, and so on and so forth. And they have special digestive system. They have special digestive system that they have to eat all day long in order to obtain energy. They don't have, they, they, they have four parts. Four parts in their stomach. Like we have just one stomach, but for their own, they have four parts. So they have to be ruminating. Some of them are ruminant animals that whatever, whenever they eat, they will have to bring it back to their mouth and start chewing it. And start chewing it. So herbivorous animals are animals that feed on plants. Carnivorous animals are animals that feed, feed on animals. On flesh, they are meat eaters. They, are, they can sometimes be called scavengers. Scavengers. They feed on meat, on flesh, raw flesh. Example, elephant, lion, snake. And they were able to look at the pictures of how they eat and their own special thing that distinguish them from other animals is their set of teeth. They are set of teeth. They have special incisors. They are special incisors that have sharp edge, very long sharp edge that they can use to crush bones, that they can use to crush bones. And we look at examples. And the last one, which is omnivorous animals, are animals that feed on both plants and animals. They feed on both plants and animals. An example, human being. We feed on both plants and animal. Bear. Bear. Feed on both plants and animals. Feed on both plants and animals. So, today we shall be looking at the atmospheric condition of the place. Atmospheric condition of the place. And um, I have told you earlier that we have to start from weather to climate and to season. 
Is that taking? So what is weather? Weather is the total condition of the atmosphere of a place at a given time. The atmosphere condition, the atmospheric condition, the total condition of the atmosphere. Atmosphere means the environment, the environment of a place at a given time is weather. Is weather. When we say the day is bright, that it is sunny, the environment is cool, the day is hot, the sky is cloudy, it's about to rain, or there is much breeze. Oh, you need to go and wear your coat. There is much breeze. We are describing the weather of that particular place at that particular time. You will discover that there are some days that rain will fall in the morning, in the afternoon, it will be sunny again. The condition of a place at a given time is weather, is weather, is weather. And you will discover that since they have, you have been given breakfast, it has not been raining all day long. The rain has not stopped. The rain has not stopped. Has it been happening like that, that since they have given birth to you, rain has been falling all day long? No. So the condition of a place at a time is weather. Is weather. Now let's look at factors affecting the weather. What are the factors affecting the weather? Number one, rainfall. Number two, humidity. Number three, temperature. Number four, sunshine. Number five, wind. Number six, air pressure. Number seven, cloud cover. Let's take it once more. Let's take it one more time. Factors affecting the weather. Number one, rainfall. Number two, humidity. Number three, temperature. Number four, sunshine. Number five, wind. Number six, air pressure number seven cloud cover and so on and so forth and so now let's explain let's pick them one after the other and explain what is rainfall this is the water water that falls in small drops from clouds in the sky when small drops it will start from very small very minute, small, tiny one. And you say it is drizzling. The rain is drizzling. Then it is quickly going to packing clothes, packing things that are outside and taking them inside. Now, it will gradually, gradually, but it is two small drops from clouds in the sky. Small drops of water from clouds in the sky. Rain is the water that falls in small drops from clouds in the sky. Now, what is humidity? Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. The amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. The amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. And that's why at night, sometimes when you stay long outside, you stay longer outside, maybe you're taking breeze, maybe the, day, the, the weather is hot and you're feeling hot, there is heat, you stay outside, you will discover that something like water will be dropping on your body and your body will be cool, cool. And sometimes you will be tempted to sleep outside. Oh, all of a sudden you will just wait. Wait, you are already getting to the middle of the night. And you will quickly take your mat or take whatever that you have put outside, maybe chair, maybe table. Take it inside and quickly run inside and lock your gates. Have you, have you experienced that before? Oh, interesting. Interesting. So the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere is humidity. Temperature, it determines how hot or cold a body or a place is. Temperature is the hotness or coldness of a body or a place. Sunshine. Sunshine is light from sun rays. It determines how dark or bright the environment is. Sun is a source of energy. It is a, it's a solar energy. It gives us light. It gives us light. So the sun determines how dark or bright the environment is. How dark or 
bright the environment is. Wind, this is the moving air in the atmosphere. This is the moving, but then you begin to see breeze. Blowing, blowing. Everyone will begin to run, but it is advisable you get a safe place to stay. Don't run when there is wind or when the breeze is high. So that it will not take off the roof of a building and eat it on your head. So it's always advisable you get a safe place and hide for the breeze to subside. So this is the moving air in the atmosphere. It affects weather by determining the pressure. By determining the pressure, rainfall, and humidity. Wind determines the wind, the, the, the rainfall. You will discover that sometimes when it's about to rain, there will be wind. And everyone will begin to pack things. Everyone will begin to run. I don't want the rain to catch me outside. We begin, begin to run. It determines the pressure, that is the air pressure, the rainfall, and the humidity. Now, what is air pressure? This is the push of air on the surrounding. The air has particles that can collide with objects and with one another to cause pressure. The moving air is air pressure. Now, cloud covers, when water vapor or smoke gathered together, it forms cloud. Water vapor, when there is humidity, it can cover the cloud, or when there is smoke, air pollution, it will also cover the, the, the cloud. Cloud determines rainfall and visibility, that is how clearly people can see, especially in air traveling. In air traveling, that's why they will always study. They will study the weather before an uh, aeroplane can take off. They will study the cloud. So it will, it, 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 it will not cover the cloud causing visibility. Causing visibility, that's how clearly people can see, especially in air traveling, in air traveling. Now we have weather instruments and their uses. We have weather instruments, instruments are tools that we use to gather data. Now, for rainfall, the instrument for measuring the amount of rainfall is rain gauge. Rain gauge. The instrument for measuring the temperature that the hotness or coldness of a place or a body is thermometer. And we have different types of thermometer. We have clinical thermometer for human body. And most especially, they put it under the armpits, in the mouth, that's on the tongue, or inside the anus. God forbid that won't fall ill and the person cannot open his or her mouth, suffering under convulsion. So we have clinical thermometer, we have wet and dry bulb thermometer, and so on and so forth. Humidity, which is the amount of water vapor in the sky. The instrument for measuring it is I grow meter, I grow meter. That's the instrument for measuring humidity. The instrument for measuring air pressure or atmosphere pressure is barometer. The instrument for measuring the wind, the speed of wind is anemometer, anemometer. Why the direction? Which way is it going? Is it north? Is it not? Is it not west? Is it not east? Is it through the east? Is it through the west? Is it through the, the south? The direction, the instrument for measuring the direction is wind vane. Wind vane. The instrument for measuring the direction is wind vane. Now, from weather, we we'll move to climate. Remember, I said that, that we we'll move from weather to climate and from climate to season. Now, what is climate? Climate is the totality or general prevailing weather conditions of a region. As temperature, air pressure, humidity, precipitation. Precipitation means rainfall. Precipitation means rainfall, sunshine, cloudiness, 
and wind throughout the year. We say whether it's the atmospheric condition of the place at a particular time. Morning, afternoon, evening. Those are times. So by time you have the atmospheric condition of the place at a time, it is weather. Now by time you gather everything for a year or for years, then it is called climate. The atmospheric condition of a place over a period of time. Over a period of time, especially a year, is climate. 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 And, you know, I was talking about the cloud. The cloud. That we have, the, 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 the pilots have instruments that they use for measuring the cloud so that there will not be visibility. That's how clearly they can see the cloud. The instruments used for measuring the atmospheric condition of a place is known as telescope. So what is telescope? Or what is a telescope? A telescope is an optical instrument comprised of a series of mirrors or lenses in order to gather more light with a higher resolution so they can see clearly and magnification than the naked eyes. It is used to see distant objects from animals and landscape to search space, planets, moons. It's primarily used by astronomers. Astronomers are the people that study the climatical condition or the weather condition of a place. To seek new planets, new stars, research the sun. Research the sun. The sun is very, very important and powerful at that sun. Planets, nine planets revolve around the sun. Revolve the sun. So the astronomers study the weather condition and the climatic condition using telescope. Use a telescope. And the telescope comprises of lenses or mirror to gather more light in order to see things that naked eyes cannot see. It is different from microscope. Microscope is used for gathering organisms, tiny organisms. But this time around, to see far distance and bring them closer. To see far distance and bring them closer to yourself, you make use of telescope. You know now that the, act, the actors and actresses are making use of a tiny form of photograph to capture their film. Have you seen it before? Great, very small, like, like an aeroplane. Very small, like an aeroplane in the sky. And they will use it to cover landscape, cover animals, cover plants, and so on and so forth. And so on and so forth. So that is the weather condition of a place. The weather condition of a place. And over a particular period of time, and over a long period of time, if it is over a long period of time, it is what? Climate. At a given time, it is what? Weather. It is weather. Make sure you watch the video, taking your time out to watch it systematically. Watch it systematically. Write your notes from the next, from the school website. Copy your notes, watch the video, and together you shall be great. Bye.